creating a check mark or an X mark using icon sets. In this example, I have a list of student names in column A and the quizzes they should be taking in columns B to E. I want to use a drop list to show a check mark if the student took a quiz and an X mark in case the student missed that quiz. In column F, I need to see the number of attended quizzes for each student. So, in this project, we'll learn how to create a drop list, a data validation list that shows either one or zero. Then, we'll apply conditional formatting to the range using icon sets. We'll then hide the numbers and keep only the check mark or the X mark. And we'll create a function that counts the check marks only, the attended quizzes. Let's build our project from ground up in Excel. So this is my finished project. In column A, I have a list of students. And then in columns B, C, D, E, I have different quizzes. For each student, I would like to record the quizzes that I took and the quizzes they missed. And in column F, I would like to count how many quizzes each student has attended. So let's start from scratch. I will start first by creating my drop list, which shows one of two options, either one or zero. One will correspond to a yes or a check mark, and zero will correspond to a no or an X mark. And to do that, I'm going to select the range. I click and drag to select the range for all the quizzes and all the students. And to create my drop list, I go to the data tab of the ribbon and click on data validation. The shortcut is Alt DL. I would like to enable a list, so I select from the down arrow, I'll be selecting a list. And the two options I have is either a one or a zero. And this is how I would have created my drop list. Instead of selecting from each cell the corresponding value, I'm going to enter a temporary value for now with the range selected. And from the perspective of the active cell, I'll be typing one and then followed by control enter. So all of them will have a one. I need to change randomly some of the quizzes to be a zero, which means these are missed quizzes. So I select some of the cells by pressing the control key. Any random cells, just selecting random cells. These will be the missed quizzes. And let's say this one and that one. I'll be typing a zero and then I hit Control Enter to populate this value. Now that I have a one and zero, I'm ready to move to the next step, which is applying conditional formatting. I select the range, and then on the Home tab, I click on the down arrow of conditional formatting and select Icon Sets. I want a check mark or an X mark, so I'll be selecting this three symbols option I'll be modifying this list later on. I'll go right away and manage the conditional formatting rule by clicking on the down arrow for conditional formatting and select Manage Rule. I want to edit this rule. Here is the rule I just created. I want to edit this rule. Instead of having a percentage, I would like to change that to a number. So from the drop list under type, I'll select number. From the other drop list, I select number. And because I have only two numbers, one or zero, I'll be specifying these two numbers for the two boxes. When I have a one, I need to replace it with a check mark. What about the zero? If I have a zero, I want to replace it with an X mark. The third option is not applicable in this case. So I'll be selecting from the drop list of the third option, no cell icon. And if you have noticed, we have the check mark or the X mark, but we do have the number one and zero in the background. I want to hide these numbers, so I'll check the box saying show icon only. When I hit OK twice, now I see only the check mark or the X mark. Let's test. This is an X mark. That means this quiz has been missed. If I click on the down arrow and select a one, that means this quiz has been attended. If I want to change another one, I can change it and everything is working just fine. The final step is to count how many quizzes each student has attended. So in column F, I'll be selecting the entire range, and I would like to count only the check marks. Or in other terms, I'm counting the ones in the underlying cell. So I create a COUNTIF function, equal COUNTIF. 
and then I hit tab. What would you like to count? I need to count this entire range and then I hit comma if the value is equal to 1 so my condition my criteria will be 1 I close the bracket and hit control enter and look at that it counts the number of quizzes let me make a change to see if it's dynamic this quiz has been missed so the number has changed and I'm able to find out very easily what are the quizzes attended and what are the quizzes missed and the total number of quizzes attended if you enjoyed this training video, like, comment, subscribe, and see you in our next tutorial.